Problem Solving Measure and Compare Lesson 9.5 When we need to solve a measurement problem, we can act it out. To act out a measurement problem means that we're going to actually measure. Now remember, when we solve word problems, we have some very important questions to ask ourselves. What do we need to find? What information will we use to find it? And, in the end, did we answer the question that it asked us? So here's our first one. It says, the orange line is about five paper clips long. The green line is about two paper clips long. The blue line is one paper clip longer than the green line. So it's comparing the length of the blue line with the green line. If the blue line is one longer than the green one and the green one is a two, it must be one more than two. We measure and draw the lines in order from shortest to longest. They want it from shortest to longest. We need to put the lines in order. We look at the information that was given to us. The orange line is about five paper clips long. The green line is about two and the blue line is one longer than the green. It's one more than the green, and the green is a two, so it must be a three. It's one more. And we can put them in order from shortest to longest. We use our paperclip measuring tool, and if you saw the previous videos, you saw how we made this, and we put them in order from shortest to longest. The green one is the shortest, it's only two paper clips long. The blue one is three paper clips long. And the orange one is the longest, it's five paper clips long. So we acted it out by actually doing the measuring. Here's another one. There are three lines. I'm missing my period, aren't I? The red line is about five paper clips long. The purple line is two paper clips shorter than the red line. So it's comparing the purple one to the red line. The green line is three paper clips longer than the red line. So both the green and the purple lines are being compared to the red line. We know that's five paper clips long. We need to measure and draw the lines in order from longest to shortest. In this one, we needed to put them from shortest to longest. Now we need to put the longest one first. We look at the information that was given. The red one is about five. We know that for sure. The purple one is two shorter than the red one. The red one's five, so two shorter would be minus two. That means the purple one is about three. That would be two shorter than the red. The green line is three longer than the red. The red is five, so three longer would be three more. That would be an eight. That's three longer than red. We can actually act it out and put them in order from longest to shortest with our paperclip measuring tool. And the longest one would be first. That would be the green one at eight, right? Whoops. And the next one, the middle one, would be the red one. That's a five. And the purple one is the shortest one. It's a three. And they're in order from longest to shortest. Here we have a pencil. And this pencil is about four paper clips long. We need to circle the line that is also about four paper clips long. So here we have a blue line, a pink line, and a purple line. Can you look with your eyes to tell which one of these lines is about as long as the pencil or about four paper clips long? We can look at the end and line them up with our eyes. When we line them up, we can see 
that the bottom one, the purple one, is about the same length as the pencil and the four paper clips. We can see that they pretty much line up, don't they? Let's try another one. This red bar is about two paper clips long. One, two. Circle the line that is also about two paper clips long. We can use our eyes and come down and see how they line up. Is it the orange line, the blue line, or the green line that is about the same length as this red bar and about two paper clips long? If you said the blue one, you're right. It's about two paper clips long. And when we use our eyes to line them up, we can see they're about the same length. Now here we've got five paper clips and four paper clips. When measuring, make sure the objects are flat and lined up. We want to measure this ribbon. How long is the ribbon? Well, the first problem I see is that it's not lined up with the paper clips. We need to move this over so that the end is lined up with the paper clips. See? So they start at the same place. I also see it's not flat. We need to stretch this out and flatten it and make it straight so we can measure it. We can't measure it if it's all bunched up. So how long is the ribbon? Do you think it's about four paper clips or about five paper clips? We can see that it's lined up and it almost is the same as the five paper clips. It's about five paper clips long. Now, some first grade math books talk about inches and centimeters and some don't. And the Go Math book we're using, which is Common Core, doesn't go into inches and centimeters for first grade, but for more lessons about measurement and about inches and centimeters, see the links in this video's description for my grade two math about measurement and height and length. Our next lesson is time to the hour. We're gonna learn about o'clock. That's lesson 9.6. So if you've made a paper chip, paper clip measuring tool, sorry, a paper clip me measuring tool, you can measure yourself, you can measure your foot, your shoe, your hand, you can measure your dog or your pet, you can measure your leg, and practice measuring anything around the house. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.